Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian. Part of our team this week traveled to Nashville, Tennessee to cover the Army Aviation Association of America's annual conference and trade show, where our coverage is sponsored by Leonardo DRS. While there, we attended a press conference with Brigadier General John Evans, Commanding General of the Army's Special Operations Aviation Command, and asked him how U.S., British, and French airstrikes in Syria have impacted his command strategy and readiness posture. We're certainly uh, tightly nested with and, and in support of United States Central Command and General Patel. Uh, he works closely with the National Command Authority on crafting what our strategic interests are going to be in, in Syria. And as you know, that's a, a point of some uh, element of discussion right now at the national level. So we're certainly waiting for uh, decisions to be made at the policy level. Uh, with regards to what we've seen since the strikes occurred, we've not seen uh, a significant change in our op tempo and our operations in CENTCOM. We continue to remain vigilant because we know that there's always the possibility that uh, these can be catalytic events uh, in that region in particular. But uh, for right now, we're continuing to support CENTCOM's objectives. Yeah, so I, I, I'd like to think that we remain pretty proactive, uh, particularly with regards to our, for our forces that are forward in theater. Uh, we've not had to change any of our readiness posture. We, we remain in a ready posture all the time, and uh, the very nature of special operations aviation means that uh, we can be called into action at any time. Mm -hmm.